Today I'm going to be making fajitas with a side of cream corn, beans, guacamole, and pico de gallo. So right now we're going to be marinating the fajita meat. So for this I'm just using one slab of fajita meat. So when you're mixing the marinade together, you're going to get half a beer. Add some red wine vinegar. Mesquite flavored fajita seasoning. And spicy Italian dressing. I want to make sure to mix it up first. So you're going to mix all that up. And then before you add it onto the meat, you're going to want to put some more of the fajita seasoning on the actual fajita meat itself. On both sides. Then you can just go ahead and put the meat in a bag. and pour in your marinade. So after you added everything in, you're gonna to wanna to let it marinate hopefully about a day. The longer the better it tastes. So you're gonna to wanna to preheat your grill anywhere from 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like after it's already been marinating for a while. So once your grill is already ready to go, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and place it on the grill. So you're gonna to wanna to check it periodically just to make sure it's not burning. And of course also flip it to the other side, get both sides. Alright, now it's ready. So we can go ahead, take it off the grill, and take it in to go cut up. So when cutting it, you want to cut against the lines, that way it's easier to chew. And that's basically how your meat should look. So we're going to do the cream corn, you're going to want 20 ounces of corn, a cup of whipping cream, a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, and a pinch of pepper. And that's all going to be mixed over a medium heat. Okay, now you're gonna get a cup of milk and mix it with two tablespoons of flour. Then you're gonna wanna whisk that together. And now the mixture of milk and flour is going to be mixed into the corn. And you're just going to want to stir this together over a medium heat until it has thickened and the corn has cooked. Now that the corn's ready and it's a little bit thicker, 
You can go ahead and stop it there, but if you want it to be thicker, you can go ahead and add a little bit more flour, just pinches at a time until you get it to the thickness that you want. Just sing it, Josh. You can cut out. You can. Oh edit my it. gosh.